for no reason. Got scruffy, a scruffy thing. Not you, me, more of yourself. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool. Stepping in while it was still down. It's not the shape, it's not the position, it's the, uh, it's the mental disengagement of it. That's a concern on that. You know you could do that? Let's go about and punch. Yeah. Why not the balls do that? No, it's, yeah, of course. Yeah, put it in. Can't apologise for that. little taps, it's fine. Yeah. You know, in essence, you learn how to fight. People get too too light. Mm -hmm. This is screwed. So I feel like down on you. You can, but it's, this is not going to be the technique. The technique is the fact that you're going to put all your eggs in that basket. Yeah. Didn't, they, they didn't even block it. Boom! And then something else is going to so it's not, I don't know what's going to open up. I can't pre that. You know that from this position I've got to do that. I know you're going to put so much concentration in that one. 
that you're probably going to end up voting with something else. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I would not do is put all my <clears throat> into that strike. I'm going to make it look like that. But I don't want like a cannon shot and then a long way to start. Yeah, I want Tommy Gun. Strikes. Yeah. Go over the players and into. Into the, now there's tension, so that's it. So I don't know when I'm going to find that, yeah. but I just know <coughs> if I'm going to chop down the tree, I'm not expecting it uh, to, to fell it on the first swing of the axe. <coughs> you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not bad, that is it? It's great, <laughs> I remember that. And that's that kind of being very precise. You know, we must punch this way. Mm -hmm. Boom, what if we do that crappy punch? Yeah. You know, you do that shitty punch. Boom, so what again? Yeah. Just turn out. Boom, something's going to present itself. And you've got to learn to deal with it. That's the thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we have like really nice, precise positions, and you learn to deal with that precision, then that's, that's fine. And it becomes almost orchestrated. You know, people say, like, oh, can I train with just you? because you know, you're really good or something, you know, not really like to sound funny. Yeah. But I find that would be really detrimental. You need to be able to train with people that are not good and, and, and deal with the crap that comes in. You know. I'm, I'm not for one second saying Kai's not good. But he's a brand new problem to me because he cheats out of his very limit out here. You know, his arms are longer than mine. Great. And so I don't have that. No. Not at all. Which is why you've got to wait until he steps in. Yeah. Exactly that. To bide your time, you know. There's no, um, there's no rush for this. Um, not, you know, the steps. Take, take time and, yeah. and, and see how it plays out. You yeah. know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I kind of use snooker uh, a lot of references uh, to, to cheese out, and um, and I, I, like, I always, I remember it always being kind of uh, Wing Chun being referred to as um, two things like fighting in a telephone box and playing chess at 100 miles an hour. Um, which is nice, uh, you know, you can see that for the fighting element um, and, um, and you can see that for the, the, the skill and gentlemanly approach. But if we use that snooker sort of um, analogy, then we can't really have a good game of snooker if you say, let's have a game of snooker, I've got seven minutes. You know, you need to allow the game to play out. You know, and that's the same with Chiso. You know, we don't, we're not trying to ace each other every time. Let's see how it plays out. Uh, like it is, you're walking onto things all the time. You know, you're walking onto these punches. So move them away a little bit. That's the thing. Find out when you roll with somebody who's got long reach, long arms. Find out where they're comfortable. Yeah. Stay with it. That's fine. Yeah. And just press them away a little bit. And then when they come back in, that's when you attack. And that's a simple thing. Let them find where they're, they're comfortable. Be aware of that, be aware of that range, and yeah. then take it away. And that's that's the thing that you can do as well in, um, I don't know if I've said this to you, it's a fun thing like if you're out drinking with friends, and, yeah, yeah, and, and you just for no reason, like just step a little bit closer and stay there. And yeah, you'll see them move back, or you know, just step back a little bit and you'll see them step in. And you can end up controlling uh, and orchestrating what's going on. And we need to play that in G-Sound as well. And it's very easy just to sort of be a lap dog and constantly follow that person and go where they want and that's when you get hit. Yeah. So yeah. in order for you to, to be um, victorious or you know, but for you to feel like you're doing well in that game, you need to start taking control of it. Yeah. And can you get that? So Ben said something to me yesterday which I really liked and he was talking about as you roll. Yeah. Um, James, he, he leaned back. Right. Which then makes you want to come forward and then so it's not even stepping. So he's exactly. Down, so I'll, I'll do that with the, the weight distribution in the footwork. Right. Uh, I'll yeah. be sort of yeah, pushing. Um, yeah. But I'm well aware that if you step back and pull, I need to make sure my hands are relaxed. Yes. You know? So then what I might do is move back here. So that gives you loads of breathing space. You start to move here, and then it can be on top of you again. So just having that, that kind of slight shift on your weight as well. Mm -hmm. You know, don't. There's, there's, certain, there's guidelines that we adhere to. Sentinel principles, not overcommitting, and so on and so forth. But you know, it's not counting stone. When you start doing that, you, you really put limits on. You need to learn what the basics are. Then you learn how to use those basics for you, and then you need to start relaxing those basics. Yeah. You know, otherwise we have like both drills. 
such as this yeah. and a pack south coming from here, you're going to see it a mile off. Yeah. You know, the reality of this, it's got to be a lot closer and it's got to be nice and relaxed. Uh, so I'm going to move. Sense, so gonna, yeah. But that's the whole point, I'm going to pack. Yeah. And I'm not going to step because you'll see the body move. So I'm going to do the pack first. Yeah. And if I think of the pack and the body follows that, you know, I'm scared. And wh whatever it is, so as soon as I move here, it's got to be the body. Yeah. Um, sorry, the body following. I'm just going to step in. Um, but this, this is, you teach a beginner that, you screw. Tan side can be all these different places and, and applications. You can have a lateral tan to teach that to a beginner. They're like, what the hell are you talking about? So you need to tell them what it is. Get that default setting ingrained and then you can start to play with that. Make it work for yourself. Different trends of thought, yeah. I mean, you can, you know, having the, uh, the background should be level with the elbow in distance and height. Yep. On a basic level, the one reason is that, yeah, you can't see this hand now. Ah, yeah, you know, yeah. so that's that's fine. That's fine. Still well, it's yeah, it's covered. And if, if I do engage something up here, you know, then that, this is how we start using the views from underneath and so on. And why do we do views from underneath again so you don't see it? It's, it's covered, you know. Yeah. Of course, I can view over the top, yeah. you know, a few lap and punch. I can defend over the top of the view, I can attack with the view over the top. So that's fine. Again, nothing is carved in stone. It's absolutely fine. The reason why I'm saying to go from this extreme to this extreme is because the reality, you give me a little push, whoa, steady on, and then a punch comes in. And it's going to be coming from the side. I'm not going to be doing a pack from here. Yeah. This doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm either going to have my hands in the middle somewhere, I'm going to have my mouth somewhere. You know, so whatever's, but, you know, not, not this kind of, you know, the last sort of movies through a long time. Got some bits there? The vocals? Yeah, absolutely. Can I have a copy of that? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, I 